Alrighty, fans, we're just a couple minutes away here from the start of the 2023 Kinnick 200. You can see the start lines right behind me here. We're going to have the first team up here in just a few minutes. And, and the dogs are starting to get super fired up here. So we'll give you a couple minutes to join us. Welcome to everybody around the world to this celebration of dog power in our dog loving community. These are the teams that represent Alaska and they're from all over. Hunter Keefe will be starting soon here first, then Hugh Neff. You can see the start order, so help each other out. Let us know where you're from. I always appreciate all the folks who help answer questions. Uh, on this feed are dog lovers from every country, experienced mushers, uh, new folks. So share the feed, get it out there. We'll be on YouTube later. Once I get back to the office this afternoon, I'll get stuff on YouTube and we'll be able to have this as a permanent record around the world. So welcome to Kinnick, Alaska. You can see all the different dog teams getting ready right there. Uh, you can see some of the trail markers right here that need to still go out. Uh, we have our race volunteers and trail crew out and about right now. I just talked to Ray Reddington. Here's some of the trucks parked all around the lake, folks. Lots of teams today. Uh, the trail is gonna go from here in a big loop. The loop will include going out to Deska and Eagle Quest Lodge, then Corral Hill down to the Big Sioux, then Trail 11 back to Kinnick Lake and repeat. Uh, we really were hoping to get out to Sheep Creek Lodge and we really appreciate Molly and Jesse and the Sheep Creek Lodge folks for being available for the Kinnick 200 this year. We had a warm up several weeks ago that opened up some of the river uh, areas, not overflow, but openings. And then we had a lot of snow that really went ahead and uh, warmed that up and made it too, uh, too unsafe with the snow on top of the open water. So they went ahead and rerouted the trail. It's a fast uh, 10 mile an hour trail is what it looks like. And we should be seeing Hunter Keys team right there Roll up the start line any second now. The race is gonna count down here. Uh, they're intending to start at 10. I'm standing right at the start here. So let's go ahead and see how it comes together. We got a little wavy team there. That's Eddie Burke's uh, team right there. There's somebody grabbing them. And thanks again, Dana Robertson and all my support family for helping put the race order out, helping uh, let folks know who's up next sometimes uh, I'm working on the camera angle and getting you the best footage. So I really appreciate all the help here. Uh, neighbors helping neighbors in the sled dog world. That's how we do it. And then share this feed. Put it on an active dog page. Uh, show some folks around the world that at least in Alaska, it's cold. It's winter. Uh, we got clear, beautiful skies and mushing is alive and well. Lots of junior mushers here helping out. Barbara and Ramey Reddington, Julia Reddington, Ray Reddington, all the Reddington family here. Uh, all sorts of race volunteers, uh, club members, and just folks who love uh, mushing here to help. We're really proud of our junior mushers as well. So there'll be a, a, a shorter Kinnick race at a different time. This is only the 200 today, uh, and we're just glad to have it. You can see the trucks on the ice, and <clears throat> that's how they are. The ice is very thick here, but the rivers have some issues. So. We're about one second away from a team or so coming up here. And again, let us know where you're from in this beautiful planet that we live on. And hopefully you're staying safe wherever you are. I just left Santa Cruz last night at my girlfriend Lucy's place and they're getting pounded again by the bomb cyclone. So for everybody on the West Coast and everywhere impacted by storms, always have a plan. Take care of yourselves and your canines and your pets of all sorts and uh, keep awareness out here things are things are getting wild in alaska right now we're we're looking real good Ooh, there's an airplane right there about to head out okay here we go here we go it looks like that's going to be it they are not in the start shoot but they are heading out here's the start shoot right here folks so you never know how things are going to go but there's our first team it looks like and you can see the break is on across this hard, fast trail. Okay, so it should be a couple minutes in between. We'll go ahead and get a little closer then. Uh, normally they come up through the start chute. 
You can really hear the excitement of the dogs. You can see them. We'll get you up close. Right on, Rhonda joining us from Michigan. We have Connie from Trey Lake, Mississippi. Dana's cheering on Hunter Keefe and also letting us know who's up. Thank you, Dana. The Vanderhoofs from right up the road, our friends and neighbors. Arlene from Boulder Junction, Wisconsin. Right on, Arlene. Thanks for being here. And they've got the live tracker again. Dana's been posting uh, links for helpful following. Go ahead and follow that. Right on, Danielle saying that she misses Alaska. Well, I'll tell you what, it's beautiful here. We are now past the solstice. We're moving into our longer days. And we are all feeling very good about uh, how things are going. We should be seeing the Northern Whites leaving next year with Hugh Neff in the spot he had. So I'm going to go ahead and just get closer, folks. Uh, they're not heading out the start chute. They're heading out from their truck. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and adjust. They're starting to count down right from their truck. So a little different format. There's the Northern Whites, Jim Lanier. You can see Hugh Neff right there in the Dr. Seuss hat, as is his way. And we'll go ahead and give you the best coverage we can, as always. Thanks for all your support. And there goes Hugh Neff and the Northern Whites. There he's fist pumping right there. And it looks like that's going to be the route. So you can see they've already made an adjustment. The actual banners right there, but the teams are heading out from wherever they're tied off. Two minute intervals, and here we go. Right on, all right, thanks for all the support. Here comes an airplane. You know it's Alaska when there's a plane involved, right? Gotta have one of those. Right on, people waving to the pilot. Yeah. It's also pretty cool, members of the media from Anchorage are here, which is rad. We love having our media partners. We, I just talked to some guys who had never been to this race. They live in Palmer and they decided to come in today. They thought there were maybe 10 or so teams and look, it's the who's who in Mushing and everybody's here. So super exciting. Let's get up close. That's what we're good at. Here we go. We got Dave Wirtz here. Here's a familiar face. <laughs> Dave's handling right here. Hi, babies. Oh, yeah. We got the happy dogs, folks. These guys are all raring to go. Look at that nice lean right there. Yeah, are you ready? That's a nice forward looking dog there, folks. Great leaders here. Look at that. We are back in the game. It's been a long time. And here we go. Whoop. Whoop, keep him straight, keep him straight. Next team's up. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Make sure to share the feed. This is how we get the word out. The sled dog community alive and well around the world and here in Alaska. There we go. And we have somebody going through the start gate. Nice. There. All right. That was Michelle right there. Great job. They're so happy that they got their team out safe and sound. There we go. See, that's what handlers do, folks. When you come and you participate in the race, you get to celebrate the little things, like getting the teams out. That's super cool. The whole community here. Yeah, let's look at you again. Look at this guy. Look at you. Just leaning in right there. Looking down the trail. I want to go. That is a beautiful focus dog there. And the leaders right here. Everybody's got booties on. But look at this guy. Just leaning right in. I love that. <laughs> Right on, folks. That's dog power right there. The focus, the drive. Yeah, exactly. Dana just said, Michelle Phillips, the Canadians know where to go. <laughs> Look at this team right here. This is the Burmeister crew, Eddie Burke. And you can see the uh, big string of dogs here. They're excited. Let's 
basket right up there. Eddie Burke here, folks. Wild style mushing racing team, the Burmeister team of dogs. Eddie's been working hard the last three, four years, and here he is. About to go. Yeah, Eddie. There he is, pointing the camera, going through the start shoot. And it's on another team. Thanks for joining us, Claudia from Missouri. And Daniel, we hope you join us in Alaska. We'd love to give you a family-friendly ethical tour at our little place in Willow, the Alaska Dog Center. And uh, it's great to see the community out here. Look at all these folks. We have cameras here. These are all just great, great signs for the 2023 season. We're cold. We have good snow. We're fast. The dogs are happy. You know, cost of food, cost of everything has gone up. So if you have a particular mushroom that you really care about and like, maybe reach out and see if you can help chip in for some of the, the increased costs. That's really been a challenge this year for folks. Uh, dealing with the higher price, the dog food's gone up 20, 30 percent. Beef has gone up. Everything's gone up. So if you have a favorite musher, this is a very expensive sport. Easy to get into debt here, taking care of all these canine athletes. So if you have a favorite, go ahead and let them know. All right. Right on, Brenda Marty joining us from Iowa. Right on, Iowa. Well, we're about zero degrees here. My hands are cold. They always are. You guys know I like to sacrifice them to give you the best footage. So my right hand's always exposed and my left hand's in some sort of a glove, but it's cold here. Look at that, they got the hook out. Next team's up. All right, Roberta joining us in Maine. Welcome, Matt's joining us from Sweden. All right, look at these guys. Let's get right in there. There's James helping the handle. Our race official right there with the mega horn. And here we are. Right on, Rob Warden joining us. He's a pro musher. So many amazing people on this feed. If you have questions, ask. We have a whole expert audience that can help answer. These guys look happy and ready to go. No booties on these dogs. That's a little unusual. They're still working on them. Okay. Here we go. They'll be getting on. That's, uh, that's uh, the Matt Failer crew right there. 17th dog. Just getting booties on now. And they These guys. <laughs> All sorts of familiar faces here. This team's getting ready to come out. More and more teams getting ready, guys. The energy is crazy here. Okay, he's counting down right now. Looks like. Just a crazy, crazy scene here, folks. 
Absolutely. Happy, happy sounds, Barbara. Good to have you back. Good to have our community back together. We've been so busy in Willow. Well, we're just glad to be back at race time. Okay, we got... We should have a team going out here soon. The race officials are back there with their megaphone, so they're trying to sort some stuff out. Right on, Dana. Just said, I uh, miss you and the wonderful community. It's, it's all of us together to make this fun. And all these happy, happy canine athletes. So much dog power here. So much dog power. Okay, we have the megaphone. Okay, bib number eight, heading out right now, folks. There you go, bib number eight. Let's see if he makes it through, around. <laughs> around is good enough. Right on, look at that. Thank you so much, Katharina and Pamela. We're good to have you back here. There they go, team number eight just went out. So if you're following along, team number eight, that means number nine is next. There's Barbara. <laughs> Good to see Barbara. There's our race official with the megaphone. Oh my gosh. Say hi to everybody. Right on. Rock on racing. Here we go. This is what it looks like from the mushers perspective. They're by their trucks. They're on their brakes. Remember we have our drag mats and our brakes. So those are all things that have to happen. We have our handlers. And then remember, this is the trackers. So you're gonna to wanna to follow the live trackers, folks. And then each sled has their tracker in their bib. Here's our race official right here. 30 seconds. And they call it out right here. And everybody has a different style. Take it easy there. Control that team. <laughs> wow, look at them just take off. Holy moly. That's like, <laughs> that team is ready to go and you're running straight on the ice here. Straight on ice. So it's a fast, fast, fast trail. Right on, cheer on your favorite. We got a little debriefing going on there. Oh, baby. All right, we're off to bib number 10. Just like that. Follow with some words of wisdom. All right, say hi to your family back home. Hello, guys. Okay, Thanks for being here. Who are your sponsors? Uh, let's see. Why not Curry? Hill Coach Alaska. All the individual sponsors. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for everybody for watching the race and supporting us from the back. Right on. One minute to go. Who are your lead dogs out there? Okay, Ruby and Apollo, we'll go say hi to them. Good luck out there, brother. All right, let's go see Ruby and Apollo up front. We're running some stick harnesses here. Hi, baby. Josh McNeil is up, folks. There they are, Ruby and Apollo. Hi, guys. Hey guys. We 
got a nice string of dogs. Josh is up next, folks. Team number 10 already. Heading out here. The 2023. She's going to try to get him through the start gate. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> okay, we pulled the hook. There we go. Oh, up, oh, up, oh, little tangle here. Got to make sure they get out. There you go, there you go. And they're moving. There we go. Through the gate, around the gate, just get down the trail. There you go. Josh McNeil out there. Remember to follow the trackers, folks. Trackleaders.com. Trackleaders.com. And then get on the old Connect 200 race. There's Randy right there. Legend. There's Randy. How you doing, Randy? Good conditions? Good conditions for the dogs? Right on. Randy breeds the best sled dogs in the world, always has. Raptors, offspring are everywhere. All right, let's head up to number 11 here. One minute. Okay. She's getting all her last minute preparations done there, Jennifer Labar. Hi, Jennifer. Yeah, you can say hi to your family. <laughs> Jennifer Labar, she's got her straw. So remember, everybody's carrying straw so they can camp. That's usually what's in those black bags on top of the sled right there. That's going to be so they can stop on the trail, put down beds for the dogs. And Jennifer's about to pull her hook. Let's go ahead and give you insight on that. So this is what it's like to get out of here. She's going to pull her safety device. Boom! See that? Just like that, the safety device off the truck. And right through the gate. Wow! That was beautiful. Good job, Jennifer. Pretty impressive there for everybody who's been watching. You don't have to go through the gate, but it's kind of nice when you do. Uh, about, what, third of the teams have, so great job, Jennifer, there, looking good. I want to show you that that safety hook. Every, every dog truck has an area where the team's tied to. You have to have some sort of back tension. Without this, that team is way too ready to run. So you can see every truck... And here you go, a different example, big old tire, right? With a snow hook in it. That's a different way of doing it. Snowshoes. Okay, we got some. Jason. One minute. Yep, Jason Mackey up right here, folks. His brother, his late brother, the honorary musher today. Hi, big dogs. Are you happy, big dogs? We have number 12, Jason Mackey here. Oh, look at that, a single lead. Single lead. There we go, that's a good wall. Jason trying to get them straightened out here. Boom, right to the crowd. That, that got a little interesting there, but look, we got through. That's a little interesting setup. Hey, was that exciting? Did you, you almost have a dog team right up? Was that exciting, you guys? You might end up going on a dog sled ride. <laughs> It's kind of a moving target here where everybody's going to head off. 
You're the guys from Palmer. Yeah. What do you think? That's awesome. I was telling the audience about you guys. What made you want to come out? Get together here. What made you guys want to come out? Well, I'm, I'm visiting from Texas. From Texas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right on. I grew up out Port McKenzie. I've never been to the 200, so I said I, I actually didn't forgot it was today, and I saw the post on Facebook. Yep. Right on. Well, thanks for coming out, you guys. Welcome to Alaska. We hope everybody else comes. Exciting? Yeah. Right on. There we go. That's what it looks like to have a good time with the dog family. Right on. Everybody's welcome. This is an open group here. It's hard to have a lot of dogs. It's very expensive to have a lot of dogs, so not many people have a lot of dogs. But people love dogs, and that's a good thing. Hi. Chip. <laughs> Christian Turner just joined us from Australia. Christian and I did our ad veteran. Can't wait to see you when you get here to Alaska from Australia this February. Stop on by. And yeah, Dana, are you keeping track of who makes the gates? <laughs> that was pretty wild. It's a little bit of controlled chaos out here right now, uh, but so far so good. Josh looks great, you guys. He's been really working hard. When I first met him, uh, he didn't have any dogs here. And then he started gathering a team together, and now look at him. He's doing great. He is uh, the gentleman who put in our 250 loads of gravel for our super dog kennel. So we're really appreciative to Josh. I think we all know this guy. Howdy, howdy. Any family to say hi to? Right, uh, okay, people are back in uh, the camp. Okay, they're holding down the forks. So there's Brent. Boom. Here we go, Wild and Free. Just thanked all his family. Very classy. He's been on a new edition of Life Below Zero, the next edition. And getting in a nice 200 mile race, joining the community down here. There's Brent set up. He's got a little snow hook type knot right so that's going to be his way of releasing so everybody's got their own way of releasing and we'll be following him throughout the race there he goes this is how it works let's see where the team goes he's not even going to worry about the gate they're just going to go straight on out probably wise and as thomas said kicking sass so if you're not following the new Life Below Zero, Brent's on that one uh, after winning his Iditarod Championship last year. So you can see some episodes with Brent in there, the wild and free community all over the world. Support Brent. And uh, this is, I think, a smaller version of his truck uh, than what I've seen in the past. So there's, there's that. All right, moving on down. We're just following the, uh, following the speakers. Okay, there's Barbara. Wherever you see Barbara Reddington, you know the next team's on. Hardest working gal around. The website for trackers is gonna be trackleaders.com. Okay, this is Nick Petit, folks. You all recognize Nick's team. He doesn't use necklines. He's come close to winning our did rod. Nick Petit in the house. Oh, look, you like to be a little nippy, huh? You like to get your, your teammate excited? <laughs> wow, a lot of energy here. Yeah, 
There's Nick. We used to spend a lot of time together. Good luck out there, brother. There he goes. He moved up to our neighborhood. So Jason Mackey, Nick Petit, a lot of folks have moved into our neighborhood recently. Right here locally, Big Lake, Knick and Willow. He's doing double snow hook for his. Wow, look at that, controlled. Let's see where he's going. Nick Petit out the gate. And you know, he's had some ups and downs over the years. He's one of our most dominant mid distance musher, two to 300 miles. But that Iditarod has been elusive for him. He's had some heartbreaks out there. But he's got one of the fastest teams. Uh, he used to live down in Girdwood and he moved up to Big Lake last year. So more and more mushers in this community. Here's the scene double trailer. Look at all you happy dogs. Anna and Christy's dogs here. Hi guys. Hi girls. You gonna howl for me? <laughs> they stop for that. Are you nervous? Well, look at that. I'd be nervous if I were going 25th. I know. The Barringtons live about 300 yards from here. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next. <laughs> okay, I gotta find out where everybody is here. There's some happy dogs. Barrington's coming up soon here. There we go. And look, we have a whole other group on the other side of the lake here, friends. So, there is. I'm going to go closer to the actual middle here so you guys can see some different angles. What a beautiful day today to have these kind of conditions. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, look at that, blazing fast. Get that break on, there you go. Right through the portal. <laughs> That's textbook following in the footsteps of Michelle Phillips right there. Folks lining the trail. Number 16, Ayana. Thank you, Dana. Look at that. There are 20 plus teams today. You can see in the lead in notes for the post uh, that there are a lot of teams and they are spread all over this lake. So um, I'm going to keep moving around and make sure we're covering them all as they start to head out. There's at least 25 teams because of the 25 bib number there for Barringtons. Look at these guys. Excited, ready. Real slick ice over there. But these dogs train on ice. Ice is our friend. It's when things warm up and rivers crack open that we have to reroute. So that's what happened this year. The race was supposed to go to Sheep Creek and we really thank Molly and Jesse uh, and the Sheep Creek Lodge for being available, but they had to reroute. So the race is gonna go from here out to Deshka, Eagle Quest Lodge, Corral Hill, down to the Big Sioux, trail number 11 and around. So that's gonna be, they'll do two loops, 200 miles, and it's gonna be really, really fun to see how these teams use this race as both an experience building, training, getting the team out for the new year. Our light is just starting to return in Alaska now. Our conditions are great, thanks to our trail bosses here and our hardworking local crew. Look at these guys. <laughs> these guys are fired up 
good. Fired up. Hi, Jay. There's Jay cruising. So if you want to know who's next, you got to follow Barbara. Because sometimes there's a little cancellation or... Here we go. Looks like they're racing over to get this team out. Okay. We'll all go together. Let's get over here. Wherever Barbara goes, that's where the next team's heading off. I'm trying to walk on this ice and not eat it. So here we go. Don't slip. Here we go. All right. Fifteen. Fifteen seconds. <laughs> yeah. A lot of power. Yeah. Here she goes, gonna pull the hook. Oh, they got a snow machine following them, look at that. Now that's an experienced musher right here. She's gonna do it the safe way and have a team help her get out there or have a snow machine help her get out there and then release the team. But then again, Anna and Christy live about 300 yards behind us right now. So this is their home lake and they're very experienced. Going out for a good run, they always put the highest dog care first, as is everybody else. And that's a good example of it. Get out there with some weight on. Get that dog team to a place where you feel comfortable. There she is. And then pull the hook. Just a great example of sportsmanship and dog care. It's not about speed. It's about having a great run for the dogs. Look at them all lined out there, happy. And she's just getting ready to detach. It's really important for everybody at home to see that. It's, it's not about speed and first places. I don't care who wins this race. I want people to have a good experience. I want the dogs to have a great time. I'd rather have you come in last and enjoy it with a happy team than place for these sled dog races in the modern world. It's about having a great time. And there they go. Very classy. Go slow to go fast, right? Take your time. Nice, happy team there. All right, swinging around. There's a Schlossler's right there. I got to go, I think, across the ice now to the next starting. Bib 19 is going to be over where the snow machine is. <laughs> All right, let me know what your favorite part of the day so far is. Is it the close-ups? Is it seeing some of the equipment? Is it seeing happy dogs or just the whole vibe here? Let me know in the comments. Number 19, Kelly Ridley, getting ready. There we go. There's a team just blasting out of the back. There goes 19. Okay. Right through the portal. Nice job, Karen. What temp is it, Christian? It's about, it was between zero and five Fahrenheit here this morning. I drove in from Anchorage, got in at midnight. Uh, I was about five degrees last night. The lowest I saw on the drive here is about minus five and then uh, hands are cold. So we're right at that zero, that perfect zero F. Happy dogs, here you go. You guys love seeing the happy dogs. All right, good. Let me know. There's Barbara again. One minute here. Hey, let's see some happy dogs. Are you a wheel dog? Yes, you are. You're a good looking wheel dog too. Oh yeah. All right. Here we go. Ashley Dove getting her last little bits together. Getting a lot of good help. 
Right on. Handlers work hard out here, folks. The coors, they make their food for the dogs in. There you go. Have a great run, Ashley. Anybody want to say hi to? Oh, you bet. Good luck out there. Look at these happy dogs. There's that tire hook. Okay, hook goes in, brake goes on. Try to slow down the team. Oh, grab that hook. That's a little dangerous. Bouncing hook. Oh. Team around, and there you go. You try to keep it together. Ice is always a tough thing with a very happy, excited dog team because those critters, those dogs are putting in so much power, so much torque, that you really have to have a lot of braking. Okay, here's our race marshal heading to the next team. So that's what he does. And again, big shout out to all the race marshals, all the volunteers, all the sponsors, all the different checkpoints out there. Make this all happen. Connect Bar out there, Eagle Quest Lodge, Sheep Creek Lodge. And then I want to give a shout out to my team back at the Alaska Dog Center, Trailside Cafe. They're getting ready to take care of the handlers this afternoon with some nice warming fires and food. Special gift to the handlers. Okay, we gotta move around here. Hi guys, look at you. Okay, so we're gonna be over here for the next bib. You can see where the snow machine is, is where the next team's gonna go. So it's all over the place. My left hand is pretty much frozen around this camera right now. My gimbal is just locked into my hand. So <laughs> you can tell we're about 20 plus teams in. And that sun will rise here about 10, 16 this morning. So we're getting there to our sunrise. And here we go. Look at that, nice, beautiful, clean start. Nice braking there. Good speed control. Beautiful job there. That's Jacob, wake up, all right. Jakey. Jakey's from up in Fairbanks. He ended up running the pedigree research kennel of our Dr. Ollie Reynolds. That's what he has taken over up there in Salcha. So he's immersed with his partner, Dr. Becky Childs, in their lifestyle there. And congratulations to Jacob. We're seeing more of him these days. You might remember back there was a video about four or five years ago of a guy pulling up to a race in Fairbanks with a Prius and nine dogs in it and a sled on top. That was Jakey. And boy, he's come a long way since then. He's got a beautiful big kennel and a great team and we're really proud of him. Okay, we're getting down here. We're spinning over to this side. It's, it's the back and forth <laughs> across the ice, so. Right on, everybody, there we go. I'll try to walk over there, but I'm gonna have to walk right back over here. So I'll just try to keep you in good shots while we can. So far, the uh, iPhone 11 here is doing great. I'm gonna need to upgrade this here soon. It's, don't you guys all find that once you get one iPhone paid off, you know, twelve, thirteen hundred dollars over some years. That next thing you know, you got to get a new one. So, I'm in the same boat. I like to try to keep the battery as fresh as possible and all that. So, I'll be saving up for that. Hopefully, we can get that done by the rendezvous, uh, which will be the end of February in downtown Anchorage. Oh, thanks, Barbara. Yep, I got the link in my Facebook page for the Kofi. I believe um, that will help. Uh, here we go. Team out. Look at that. 12 dogs and a little drag sled. That's cute. Yeah, that used to be allowed in the Iditarod, and then they they changed the rules so the CVs couldn't trailer dogs. So they just built bigger sleds and put them all in the front. 
Uh, but that was a, a common part of Iditarod was people would pull little sleds behind them and then the CVs figured out that they could rest their dogs. And if they bred strong enough dogs, they'd have more rest than the other teams. And, and so that rule got changed on them and then they had to adapt. So uh, there it is, you can see it there. A little history there. Oh, okay, he's racing over to this side. That's our race starter here. So looks like we're gonna be right here. Okay. Bib 23, Katie Timmons, thank you, Dana, again. It's a community effort here. At some point, I'm gonna to have to pull my left index finger. I can't feel it right now, so let's try to get this team out, and then I'll see if I can pull in my fingers. And there's Jessica Clayka's new baby right there. Yeah. How you happy dogs? Looking back. The lead dogs looking back. Are you so excited to go? Are you a lead dog? You got a lot of pride, don't you? Yes, you do. Yep. And here we go. We don't know if the team's going to alligator at the start, so. Looking great. We're already the bib 23, folks. And through the portal, bonus points. Bonus points. Oh. There we go, bib 23 out. So bib 24, remember trackleaders.com to follow the GPS. That's going to be your next 24 to 48 hours. Let me see if I can. Well, I think I'm just going to have to wait to the end of the race to pull my fingers in. I, can't really move them. All right, Bib 24, the starter's heading over here. And for orientation folks, Anchorage is off that way. Wasilla is off that way. Willow is off that way. Talkeetna, Denali and on. So that helps you understand where you are here. Again, big loop, so no head-on passing. The dog teams will go on a big loop and do it twice over the next couple days. And we'll see the handlers this afternoon at the trail side at mile 73 in Willow at our place. And Carrie is going to serve them up some snacks and foods, and we're going to get a big fire going so that the handlers have a place to get warm and hang out and get refreshed. It's a lot of work handling for a dog team, a lot of getting up at all hours and sacrificing. So uh, out of respect for all those support folks, uh, Carrie's gonna go ahead and feed them. So we'll see you handlers later on today at the trail side. Oh boy, this is slick in here, isn't it? That's slick as heck. But they still get traction with those booties on and enough. Okay. Here we go. See, they can still get traction on that ice. They got to be a little wonky, but they'll get it. Here we go. All right. That's our good friend. Look at that. Putting together a nice run there. Now the dogs are on some good snow. Definitely Mr. Eric Kelly, Kristen. Whoa. I love kayaking this lake, so it's fun to see dog teams cruise out here. This is a very busy place in the summer. People pulling in from all over, fishing and swimming and playing. Canuck Lake, so super cool to see it. All right, we're gonna swing over. I believe we're over to the Barringtons again, way over yonder. Right on, Daniel. We'd love to have us. We'd love to have you in Alaska. And if you get out here, we've got 
a brand new Super Dog Tour area. Super family friendly. We've fenced in a four acre compound. We're gonna build a water park this summer for the dogs. And we've got 250 loads of gravel, $30,000 of the fencing, super kennels, and the dogs have just Love it. They have a four acre wonderland to show you how they like to be. You can help harness them, you can mush them, and then you can know we're doing it all ethically uh, with the dogs living right on that campus and playing right there. So come and join us in Willow. We'd love to show you our life. And then stay tuned. Next couple days, we're re releasing Dog Power Movie. Here we go. Barrington team heading out right now. Just getting out in front there. You can see, trying to get them going in the right line. And they're again using the same snow machine technique as before. So they're gonna help the team get out and then release them. Yeah, you can see Anna already went out, Christy's coming. And then the Barringtons live literally just right behind here. So when Andy and I left for Nome a couple years ago on our snow machines, we left right from here. And we went out on the trails and joined up the Iditarod Trail. There they go. Okay, race marshals coming back this way. They're putting some miles on. You can see the, uh, the method and the madness there, uh, how they're going back and forth. Uh, with the two minute intervals. Okay, I am sending my left hand as much energy as I can. It's in a glove, it has a hand warmer, but it's locked up. It's just how it is out here, it's cold. Um, I'll probably pay for that later, but here we go. Let's get up close so you guys can see. We're up to bib 26. We're getting down to the last few dogs here. Some nice. There we go. There's the whole team. Looking great. There's Kathy Frederick up front. He's our neighbor here in Caswell with the Annas. Yeah, babies, you're beautiful. Here we go, the Annas, the best ever. There they go. So the Annas are working for Kathleen Frederick and they have a page you can follow on Instagram. And uh, they live right next to Carrie's Kennel Bad Manners, my business partner. So look at that. You come to Alaska, you work hard, you get a chance to run dogs. That's part of the dream. Congratulations. Beautiful start, and the sun's just starting to come out now up here. Look at that, we're getting our first rays. How cool is that? And then we got to go all the way back over for our last dog team that I'm going to sign off and get my hand thawed out. Right hand's doing great because I can put it in my pocket, the hand's just locked. Um, it's okay. You guys see me struggle with this every year, it's just part of the trade off. Okay, and we still have Alaska's news source in the house, getting some good footage. So whenever you're following stuff, you got to follow these guys. They're now the big, the big multi-channel down in Anchorage. They cover everything, everywhere. And I work with them all summer on fires, and now here we are in the winter fun, right? Yeah, this is, the way we like. <laughs> yeah, this is a little bit nicer. This is why we're out here get the season started a great way to kick off this mushing season absolutely exactly and then we bring it down to anchorage here into february right yep that's we'll be right. down for the rondi and then, and then it's i did the it on the big one that i got the quest this year as well Five, oh right yeah okay you'll we'll be up at the quest smaller one yes yep so we'll be able to get it done right yeah. hey, you want to say hi to your family shout out to my family they live in fairbanks so hopefully they're oh, are they really yes yes so right on look, look at that so stay stay we got their camera going and here's the last go. team folks we're so happy to have the media partners here. That means all of Alaska and all the world get to see it. 
uh, on the big network too. There they go, folks. That's the last team here. Oh, nice framing. Way to end that off. Dakota Slosser right there. Yeah, Kim. Miss you. Love you. Good to see the family. We've been real busy, so we haven't even seen a lot of our neighbors. And thanks, Rose, from Sweden, and everybody who joined us here today. I'll be covering you. Oh, my God. Hannah Rose from Paonia. That's awesome. From my old hometown where I have my Airbnbs. And Nikki, you bet. Glad you're watching from Fairbanks. And there you go, everybody. Here's the, the quiet comes over the ice. It's the first time we haven't heard barking in well over an hour and a half. And you can sense that it's just calming right down. How was that, everybody? Very awesome. Was that pretty cool? Oh, yeah. What made you want to come out? He wanted to see the dogs. Did you want to see the dogs? Did you say go, go, go? Did you have one you were cheering for? Or were you cheering for all of them? All the puppies. All of them, right? Of them, huh? Cool. And how about you, little guy? Look at this. This is the Alaska way here. You just sort of bundle up and take the zero and go, right? Got your binkies in and all your toys. <laughs> so if you need some inspiration back home, there you go. Right here, there's no messing around in Kinnick. Everybody here is tougher than tough, even the little ones. <laughs> That's so cool. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, We're going to see you later? Yeah. Okay, good. Good. Okay, folks. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it around. Oh, I got my, my surf hat on, just came back from Santa Cruz last night, so big love to my girl in Santa Cruz, Lucy and the family, Naya, Eminem, and Flash, I miss you guys. Stay warm. We got photo bombing here. Hey, what's your, how are you going to watch this race? All Let's by fill, you. fill people in. And you then trackleaders.com, right? Trackleaders.com and then Kel Casey Live. <laughs> So we'll be Stay doing tuned. some live, we'll be doing some, uh, Carrie's Check got point. some food for the handlers later. Okay, great. Over at our place. Sounds like it. And yep. so we'll be doing this and we'll be thawing out in between, right? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> right on, everybody. We'll see you soon. Thanks so much. And congratulations to the race. There it is. It's so cool to see cold temps, happy dogs, and a big community in Alaska. Love you guys.